Hi, it's John. Hi, I'm Maria. Welcome to D News Jam, Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. The magical news of Disney. Welcome, welcome to your weekly happy place. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It really does help this channel out. If you like this week's show, please give us a big thumbs up and ring the bell so you'll know when we drop our show here every Wednesday. On this week's show, we take a look at Disney World's new Star Wars Space Cruiser hotel rooms. We have an update for The Mandalorian Season 2 thanks to DisneylandToday.net. Maria's back with merchandise and fashion top 10, and there's something for everyone this week. Brian Corral is in Galaxy's Edge after dark this week. And your first chance to get your very own spider bot from Avengers Campus at Disneyland Resort. It's another jam-packed show, so let's get into it. We hope you've been saving some credits because we've got a first look inside an actual cabin aboard the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser coming to Walt Disney World. Inside the cabin shows a queen bed with theme bedding and two padded bunk beds or pods along the wall. On the other side is open storage space and what looks like a small safe and fridge. The room door resembles the airlock style that should be inside a spaceship. Of course, each cabin aboard the Halcon will have a view of the galaxy beyond, with ever-changing vistas as the ship progresses from place to place. A screen mounted on the wall of the cabin shows the ship's current trajectory and we think it may well double as a TV. Against the wall, a table pulls out from a pocket with futuristic stools to sit on beneath it. These cabins seem compact but perfectly set up for space travel. Concept art reveals possible storage space for luggage under the bed plus a futuristic bedside lamp. Rooms come in two sizes, a regular size cabin and a larger captain's quarters cabin. Each floor is set to have 32 regular cabins and two first class cabins. Disney previously announced that reservations will open later this year for Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, which debuts in 2021 at Walt Disney World Resort. And now it's time for a Mandalorian Season 2 update thanks to DisneylandToday.net. Episode 12, The Siege. Din Djarin and the child have returned to the planet Navarro to repair the damaged Razor Crest. As payment, the Mandalorian must participate in a dangerous mission with friends Cara Dune, now the Marshal, Grief Karga and Mithril, unfrozen from Carbonite after Season 1. While the trio is believed to be taking out an Imperial base, they discover dark secrets hidden in a laboratory in the base's core and learn that Moff Gideon survived the crash in the desert. Fun fact, the episode is directed by Carl Weathers, who also plays Grief Karga. This was his first time directing a feature episode in the Star Wars universe. And now it's time for Merchandise and Fashion Top 10. Take it away, Maria. Hello, and welcome back to our Top 10 Merchandise and Fashion Picks. In this week's Top 10, we have everything from Star Wars to Disney parks to Loungefly. There's something for all of you Disney lovers. So let's kick it off starting at number 10 with the Disney Fantasia Sorcerer's Apprentice Sandy Skirt. Hailed as an extravaganza of sight and sound, Disney's Fantasia is as awe-inspiring and thrilling to watch now as it was upon release in 1941. Bring the awe and magic into your wardrobe with the Fantasia Sorcerer's Apprentice Skirt. Mickey Mouse in his Sorcerer's Apprentice robe and hat stands just out of reach of the crashing waves below and enchanting brooms carrying buckets. Each skirt comes with a matching Apprentice Mickey spellbook enamel pin, which is approximately 1.5 inches tall, available for $80 at loungefly.com. Coming in at number 9, it's the child beanie hat for adults, Star Wars The Mandalorian. It gets cold out in space when you don't have your Mandalorian helmet to protect you, so keep this knit beanie hat handy on 
on all bounty hunting adventures. An embroidered applique of the child will keep your favorite bounty top of mind. Available for $19.99 at Shop Disney. And in eighth position, it's the Disney Mickey Mouse Holiday Noel sweatshirt dress. We're all ears for holiday cheer. Get cozy with a hot cup of cocoa in this sweatshirt dress. Featuring Mickey Mouse dressed as Santa peeking through a wreath with Noel text design, drop shoulder side seam hip pockets and a slit at the hem. Available for $31.43 at heruniverse.com. In the lucky number seven spot, it's the Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano Phoenix Cell Soccer Jersey. From the Republic to the Rebellion to Fall of the Empire, Ahsoka has seen it all and she stayed loyal to her friends in Phoenix Cell. This Star Wars soccer jersey features the Phoenix icon on the chest next to Phoenix Cell lettering. Also on the chest is a Jedi Order patch and a clone trooper helmet painted like Ahsoka's facial markings. On the back is Tano lettering over a 41, available for $23.34 at heruniverse.com. Coming in at number six, it's the Star Wars The Mandalorian season two t-shirt for adults, Bo-Katan limited release. In the second season of Star Wars The Mandalorian, Mando and the child continue their journey, facing enemies and gathering allies as they make their way through a dangerous galaxy in the tumultuous era after the collapse of the Galactic Empire. Commemorate the new season with this limited release crew neck t-shirt featuring a design inspired by season two, available for $24.99 at Shop Disney. And at number five, it's the Disneyland 65th anniversary convertible sling bag. Commemorate 65 years of magic at Disneyland Resort with the Disneyland 65th anniversary convertible sling bag. Its fun retro style depiction of Sleeping Beauty's castle sparks joy in the hearts of those who see it, reminding them of the happiest place on earth. Available for $75 at loungefly.com. At number four, it's the Disney Fantasia crossbody bag. With a midnight sky of moons and stars, along with gold accents, this crossbody bag is an awe-inspiring and thrilling as the movie. Bring the awe and magic into your wardrobe with the Disney Fantasia crossbody bag. Available for $100 at loungefly.com. At number three, the very festive Disney Cruise Line countdown to Christmas, wooden holiday tree. Build up the excitement as you count down to the big day. This fun and festive holiday tree has two numbered blocks which show the days until Christmas. The tree itself is decorated all over with colourful seasonal symbols to inspire happy memories of your Disney Cruise Line. Available for $29.99 at Shop Disney. At number two, it's the very shiny Mickey Mouse icon diamond earrings by Rebecca Hook. Diamonds and Mickey are forever in these elegant 14K white gold earrings by Rebecca Hook. Hand set with 82 diamonds, the iconic pair makes a dazzling style statement. Available for $1,500 at Shop Disney. And at number one, it's the very beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle Watch for Women by Bulova Disneyland. From the Futura collection by Bulova comes this stunning timepiece fashioned in stainless steel with gold tone accents. The white mother of pearl dial features the Disneyland castle and 11 individually handset diamonds. Available for $395 at Shop Disney. We'll be putting a link in the description down below to to all of the items in our top 10 this week. And that's it for merchandise and fashion for this week. Now it's over to you, John. Thank you for that, Maria. I love that Ahsoka soccer jersey. Can't wait to see her on The Mandalorian Season 2. Fingers crossed, we'll see her this Friday. Brian Corral took a trip to Batu after sundown this week. Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome to another fun-filled Batu on episode of My Magical Life. Um, yeah, I'm doing a little rebranding channel's gonna be called Brian's Magical Life, so let's do it. We're here at Batu for a little closing time fun and some lightsaber fun. So let's go and have some fun. Now right, guys, this view right ahead of us here, that view right there, that never gets old. Guys, look at these things. They're so cool at night when it's lit up. I've missed being able to see this stuff. It's awesome. Other views that we missed being able to see at night, guys. The Tyacon. This is fantastic to see. It's very beautiful. I love being here at night. It's going to be even better when it's getting darker. And look, rising moon. Oh, there's one moon. We don't see the second one yet. It's behind that building. We're over here by the milk stand now. I'm just going to take you guys on a small little tour. Over here to our right coming up. There's going to be some joy parts and storage parts. And you can see a bunch of astromech stuff. Then you have what they call the refreshers, which are restrooms to off-worlders, but the refreshers here to your left. And if you keep going, if you keep going all the way down over there, that
that's gonna take you to another galaxy called Toy Story Land. But we're not going there. Is it? Here they are. Hi, Chewie. Chewie's just talking to this little kid over here to my left. He's a great guy. Oh, look, here comes Vi. Oh, man. I hope the stormtroopers don't come anytime soon. We're gonna keep moving along. You guys, the spires, the falcon. That night cannot be beat. I love it, baby falcon. I'm gonna see if I can find it and show you in this light. It is. Where is it? Hold on. I saw it earlier. Um. <laughs> okay. It is. I'm gonna have to like zoom in on this if I can. It's really hard to do. One handed. Let me put down the saber. All right, guys. So it is. see it well from right here it's hard to get the right angle on it now but it's it's under there if you can kind of see it there i'm sorry guys this is as good as i can do right now i can show you batu take you saber by saber yep <laughs> that's what we're doing all right this is great guys let me take a picture this is awesome okay and we're moving so yeah the line has died down it's basically dead now i'll show you there's the non-existent line it's it's all up in there now very very small wait time of 30 minutes probably not even that i've joined the first order guys as one of the new sith we're doing this apparently he's going to take me on one of these days Ooh, we should we should take each other on one of these days and make a video that would be awesome. Guys, you can hear about two. They have the reminder that you need to wear your mask and everything at all times. Look how cool these sabers look. Yeah, in my glasses, that looks awesome. Guys, I think this is gonna do it for us today. I know it's a short and sweet one. That's all I could do. I'm going through some stuff right now, so I needed to make it just short and sweet today. Um, but I appreciate you sticking with me. Thank you for that, Brian, for the full vlog. Go over to Brian's channel and give this guy some support. He's taking you to Disney World each and every week. So subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. While Avengers Campers at Disneyland Resort will open to aspiring superheroes at a future top secret date, Peter Parker apparently has already begun testing his latest prototype, Spider-Bots. As revealed at the D23 Expo last year, the Worldwide Engineering Brigade or as it's called by the kids, WEB, is devoted to empowering the next generation of heroes with cutting edge technologies like spider bots. While Disney looks forward to inviting you to their WEB open house in the future, for now, you can get your hands on your very own spider bot. Spider bots and the latest WEB apparel from Avengers Campus will be available in downtown Disney District at Disneyland Resort at both World of Disney and Disneyland Resort Backlot Premiere Shop beginning December 4. Every spider hero needs a friendly psychic to help protect their neighborhood. These spider bots put you in control of the action to battle opponents from program combat and defensive abilities. These spider bots put you in control of the action to battle opponents with program combat and defensive abilities. They can crawl backwards and forwards, crouch, spin 360, stare down with their laser eyes, attack opponent spider bots, and even blast off their shields. And that's it for this week's show. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next week for the magical news of Disney. Until then, we have spoken. This is the way. May the force be with you. And it's not goodbye, but we will see you real soon.